Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So today I'll show you some of my favorite places here in Holmes County to visit. Uh, if you're not familiar with this area, we live here in Ohio where it's one of the largest you know, Amish communities. So join me as I head out and enjoy the scenery. So my first stop was Yoder's Dried Flowers and Gifts, an amazing place. I'm sure you could tell um, they have lots of really unique, you know, gift ideas or, you know, just home decorations for yourself. And they also have a nice selection of really different toys that you can't find anywhere else. Now our boys are kind of, you know, out of that stage, but I know when they were younger, I would go there and buy what I called church toys. I would fill a little bag for them to take along to church. So my second place was going to be Country Gatherings here, that's where I'm at right now. They have a section here called The Gardens, and it is the most amazing place ever. I could just be in there for hours, like you, you hear the trickling water, and then there's plants everywhere, and then also beautiful home decoration items, uh, but they don't open until 10, so I may head on over to Blessing Acres Produce and show you guys that first, and then come back over here and explore the gardens. I always like to support Blessing Acres Produce because it is owned by a widow and plus she has amazing produce. A good time to go there is in the fall. Um, she has tons of pumpkins and gourds and mums and you actually can pick your own um, cut flowers. I always like to grab some of her organic eggs.
the day I was here, she told me there's actually a wren raising a family in this planter, and someone had bought it and kindly left it there until the wren had her family out of there. So cute. You guys can imagine that I am in my glory in this place. I just love the sound of that trickling water and all the beautiful plants. way home now and I'm gonna eat lunch at home and then do the rest of my stops this afternoon um, I'm just leaving East Main a restaurant down in Baltic and I managed to just take a few pictures in there I didn't want to just walk through there and you know take this video because there was people in there eating so hopefully you guys can see how nice it is in there um, I, th I think it's just so tastefully decorated 
and they have delicious food. I will try to get some clips of the food that I have to go here. I am bringing home some lunch for the boys and myself. So here we are after lunch on the road again, and I forgot to take pictures of our lunch. I apologize for that. Um, I had a delicious tur turkey club sandwich. It was on a croissant, and I had sweet potato fries with it. And then both my sons had, one had the fish sandwich and the other had a Reuben. So I'm on my way to Zinc's Fabric Outlet Store. I know I've talked about this before on my channel. I'm not sure that I ever really took a video when I was there, but if you are at all into you know fabrics or you know crafting this is the place for you they have just tons of fabric all kinds of different colors and designs So the next three stops are in the town of Millersburg. That's where I'm headed to right now. Um, the first place will be the Save and Serve thrift store. Um, I know I've showed that before in my videos. I just love that place. Um, I like any thrift store, but that one's probably my favorite. They often have just a bunch of different things and good prices. And you know if you buy somewhere like that, you know, you're helping someone out. Always a good feeling. So I'm going to go in there and see if I can find anything. So I don't think I've ever been in the Save and Serve thrift store that there's so little things there. Um, the shelves are just empty, um, which is a good thing for them. It, evidently they're getting lots of people and selling lots of things, but there sure wasn't anything there today that I really you know, wanted. So hopefully next time, but make sure to check it out if you're in the area. It is a good store, even if it didn't quite look that way today. So another place that I want to show you guys down here in Millersburg is a coffee shop that is called Jitters. And it's kind of neat to me because it was started, it's owned by my 7th and 8th grade history teacher. He was always one of my favorite teachers, uh, Martin Mann, and he ta just taught me a lot. And history was always my favorite subject too, but he would often go out off on little bunny trails and just... Um, you know, tell us these awesome stories that really seem to stick, maybe almost better than what we were learning, but um, it's always kind of neat for me to go in there. So I ended up getting the matcha tea over ice. Um, it is, has a little bit of vanilla in there, no whip and no honey, and just half as sweet. So good. So the next place we're going to is called Harvey's Market. And I don't go there too much because it's kind of far, 
but being I was in Millersburg anyway, it's not that far from Millersburg. Um, I thought I'd show you guys. They have awesome produce there, and the really neat thing is they're open all the time. So the last store I'll share with you is Dutch Craft Furniture. To me, this is the most amazing furniture place in Holmes County. Um, they have just beautiful Amish crafted furniture, all sorts of different colors and designs, and they also have very good prices. Some of my favorite combinations are the white with the gray or brown together. So pretty. quick spot I want to show you guys if you are looking for some beautiful scenery there is a rest area between Berlin and Walnut Creek along State Route 39 you can't miss it it's the only rest area and if you pull in there kind of to the back parking lot you will get a beautiful view of Holmes County rolling hills and farmland So I'm back home again. Um, I hope you guys found this video to be somewhat helpful. Um, I realize, you know, most of you guys will probably never see Holmes County, sadly, but uh, for those of you that do, you know, plan to visit, um, definitely the places I was today are worth it to check out. To be honest, I really needed something easy for this week. Uh, my niece is going on vacation next week. I'm so happy for her. Uh, she definitely deserves it, but I will be by myself in the Etsy shop along with everything else around here. So I just definitely needed something that was easy to edit for this week so I can just keep, you know, being caught up here. Uh, but hopefully next time I'll have something a little more like the usual for you, like a makeover or something like that. And as always, I hope you're having a great week. I really appreciate all of the kind comments you guys leave and the likes and the views. Thank you so much for that. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.